An intuitive human-machine interface has become one of the critical factors which define the success or failure of the newer wave of devices hitting the market. Recent technical innovations, mainly driven by consumer goods such as MP3 players and mobile phones, have transformed user expectations. Capacitive touch sensing technology is helping the rapid growth of this trend by making these products more versatile, reliable, cost efficient, and above all, improving aesthetics. The inclusion of touch sensing in user interfaces has led to a growing demand for the touch panels to be more compact, cost less, use less power, yet deliver high performance. Applying their extensive resources and vast experience as a global microcontroller leader, Renesis is helping the adoption of capacitive touch technology by offering R8C3XT group of microcontrollers. This group of MCUs combines a dedicated touch sensor control unit with a high-performance 16-bit CPU core to deliver high-efficient touch key solutions. Operating at speeds up to 20 MHz and equipped with multiple power-saving modes, these group of microcontrollers offer true single-chip solutions that can handle touch detection while executing system control. There are several ways to implement capacitive touch sensing keys like buttons, wheels, and sliders. Renesas's capacitive touch solution is the only MCU-based solution which uses a hardware-assisted approach, in which a dedicated sensor control unit peripheral handles the touch functions while freeing up CPU cycles for implementing system control. A software approach requires the MCU to control the ports to charge discharge and test the circuit and typically no interrupts can be taken during processing. The CPU is therefore operating constantly during scanning and processing resulting in a lower application processing efficiency and higher average current consumption. In the case of R8C3XT, the automated scanning and measurement capability of the SCU allows the CPU to be stopped completely during scanning or perform other operations. The CPU is used only for the post-processing, which is around 15% of its total usage. The sensor control unit can operate in wait mode and combined with the power saving modes of the R8C, the average power consumption for scanning can be kept lower than 20 microamps per channel. The sensor control unit controls the ports, counters, and data transfer to detect the floating capacitance of the capacitive touch electrode. MCUs in the R8C3XT group provide built-in hardware-software solutions for countering noise and environmental changes to ensure accurate touch detection at all times. The power-efficient hardware greatly reduces the touch sense processing load on the CPU core. Finally, once the measurement data is collected, the SCU can use a dedicated sensor DMA engine to transfer data for post-processing. Alternatively, the data can also be transferred using the data transfer controller unit built into the R8C devices. Summarizing, the sensor control unit handles the majority of the touch functions such as control and error management, automated scanning and measurement, noise countermeasures, and data transfer that would otherwise keep the CPU busy. No solution is complete without adequate tool support. Renesas's Capacitive Touch Key Solution offers an R8C33T-based evaluation kit, which is a great way to explore touch performance and associated tools with fully documented design examples. This kit helps you in becoming familiar with the included touch workbench to fine-tune parameters for optimal performance. Now let's look at what's inside the box. There are several items inside the box. To begin with, you have a capacitive touch evaluation system CD. You have a quick start guide. The, capac the capacitive touch evaluation system board. And in this compartment, you will find the E8A debugger and the cables, including the debugger cable and the USB cable. To evaluate the Renesas Capacitive Touch Solution, 
you will need a PC to power the board via USB. And also for deeper investigation, using the included tools to create, build, download, and test the code examples provided. After you have unpacked the board and USB cable from the kit box, you can quickly power up the board and evaluate the capacitive touch system. Once powered, the board LED display will show all zeros and the on standby LED will be eliminated. Let's take a look at the function of these keys. Let's begin with the number keys. Touching any of these buttons will show the corresponding number on the LED display. Sliding a finger up and down the slider will increment or decrement the count on the display according to the direction of movement. Moving a finger around the wheel will similarly increment or decrement the count according to the direction of movement. Pressing the mode button will place the demo board into an auto power down mode where the board will turn off the display and ignore touches to any of the buttons after 10 seconds. To exit the power down mode, press the on standby button. To disable the power down mode, press the mode button. Pressing the enter button will enable the onboard buzzer that is activated when any key in the number pad is pressed. When enabled, an LED will light above the enter button. The buzzer will not sound when the wheel or slider is touched. To disable the buzzer, press the enter button. These steps show the basic functions of the pre-programmed demonstration code for the Renesas Capacitive Touch Evaluation System. Further investigation of the kit is done via lab style examples, including an overview of the Renesas Touch API, building a touch project with Renesas Hue IDE, examining some of the basic touch parameters key to the Renesas Touch solution, and using Renesas Touch tuning tools known as Workbench to evaluate and tune the touch performance. Let's have a look now at what the Touch Workbench can do. The Touch Workbench offered by Renesas is a free tuning tool and is designed to help engineers quickly evaluate and tune hardware and software for optimum touch performance. The tool is simple to operate, yet very powerful and intuitive. Within Workbench, there are various utilities available. Parameters used by the Touch API, such as reference values, thresholds, and drift compensation can be modified in real time through the parameter setting utility. The status monitor helps with the measurement of each touch channel. Finally, Workbench also includes a circuit modeling utility, which provides recommended values for the capacitor and resistor components based on the physical parameters of the electrode and overlay characteristics entered by the user. Now you have seen a true single chip solution which can help add touch to your user interfaces without requiring an additional microcontroller purely for touch sensing. For in-depth technical details, product lineups, and how to get your hands on this kit, please visit our dedicated website.